This time out, we're gonna face the always lethal Robert Lewandowski. But we've got our own guy, Phil Foden, to go head to head with him. We head to Bayern Munich to take on the big boys of the Bundesliga. But first, we play host to Paderborn, sitting at the bottom of the table. This is Total FIFA Career Mode. Last time out, we advanced against Union Berlin in domestic cup action, but we had to do so without the captain, Max Egestein, who's out for two months. Phil Foden's been our offensive leader all season, and he's stepped up big, and he's been among the league leaders in the Bundesliga in goals. Now we've got two games coming up next, one, one against low-level Paderborn, and then the other, the big matchup against Bayern Munich sitting second in the table. We're going to stick with this 3-4-2-1. It's been working for us great. And don't forget to hit those subscribe buttons for me, because it's game time. Here we go. Yeah, we got a game against Bayern Munich coming up. But we got to take care of some business against Paderborn first, sitting at the bottom of the table. Hopefully this shouldn't be too much of an obstacle, although we've been wrong before. Welcome back to Total FIFA Career Modes. Retake the Bundesliga series here with uh, Werder Bremen. You can see we're taking on Paderborn, and they are the lowest scoring team in the league. Maybe we can actually have a good defensive performance? Man, I'm not counting on it. As we get rolling here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me down below. Follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM. And on Instagram at Total FIFA Career Mode. And of course, on our website, Total FIFA Career Mode.com. As you see us get rolling here with Paderborn, we had a decent look, they had a decent look. Here's a pass up to Kaseki and a great finish, but he was clearly offsides. Clearly offside. You'll see he was off by uh, what amounts to about a full body's worth uh, you know, here in, uh, in the early going. Uh, again, if you want to, if you want to skip ahead to that Bayern Munich uh, game, go up to the 10-minute mark. No problem there. But we're gonna take care of some business here against Paderborn first, or at least we hope to. You know, we've struggled a little bit against some of the lower-level teams, or at the very least, we haven't fared any worse against the top of the table than we have against the bottom of the table. It's been pretty even, no matter who we're playing. As you see us go up ahead to Vindal, and he's tripped from behind in the 29th 30th minute and it looks like we're gonna have a penalty kick are we gonna get a PK here he got the ball but there was a lot of contact we sure are Phil Foden's gonna step up to the spot here see if we can't get an early one nothing lead and sure enough the captain our new captain drilling at home stepping up both you know, in you know, in, in results and also in leadership here uh, for the Werder Bremen squad, uh, stepping up in the uh, absence of Max Agustin. And of course, he's been our penalty kick uh, specialist all year. He's been fantastic uh, since he's really taken over that spot. Jules that one home with authority. And we take an early one nothing lead against Paderborn here. And hopefully that... That can put it away, and we can just kind of pull away from here. You see nine goals in the Bundesliga for Phil Foden. Uh, he's among the league leaders, as we prefaced earlier on, but he's really carried us offensively. Him and Trincao have been the guys from, from top to bottom. Near the end of the first half here, uh, just trying to go in one uh, you know, Haven't had too many additional scoring opportunities. As you see Maximiano make a save here. Um, you know, This is a game we'd like to just kind of pull away early and take care of business, but... We got our early goal on the on the penalty kick as ooh a bad pass from Maximiano a turnover here, trying to wrap up the first half clean but what just a, like a flying uh, judo volley there. 
as the cross comes in. Just trying to volley it while while well played, but it required a good save from Maximiano. Trying to get out of here into stoppage time. Up one nothing still. Just trying to get to halftime. Pass ahead. Ooh, Simican cutting it off. Well done. Maximiano trying to clear it. Ooh, a dangerous pass. I don't like that. Badashiel unable to clear it. Here comes Jans. And Oh That is devastating. That is devastating. As we're just trying to get through the first half. A little touch pass and volley there. Nice nice play by the Paderborn you know, offensive attack there. And and caught Maximiano out of position because of the last minute switch there and and uh, Virgil's not gonna be happy with that. We really you know well, you know, in, in on the one hand we dominated the first half in possession, sixty two to thirty eight, but look at those shots on goal. Seven to just two. They've had a lot more opportunities. You know, the one we converted was a penalty kick. It's so early in the second half, up ahead to Kaseki. We gotta make more happen. Two shots in an entire half of, of football against the bottom of a Bundesliga team is is not acceptable. We need to do better. This is this is uh, taking it a little bit easy here. Foden trying to set up. There's McKinney trying to set somebody up. Vindal over the middle. Kaseki. Just a clusterfuck here in the middle. And we can't even get a shot off. We can't even get a shot off. And now they're on the on the counterattack. Again, 62nd minute. 1-1 one, one still. Phil Foden. Tons of room in front of him. Tons of open space. Who's he going to go to? Who's he going to find? To the middle to Vindal. Oh, a last minute. Last minute defensive stop. He looked like he had a clean look on goal. 66th minute. Now they talk about clean looks on goal. Are you shitting me? It's two to one. This is what happens when you let a team hang around and you don't take care of business. We have not generated enough offensive attack in this game. And look what happens. Save for the penalty, we'd be shut out. The defense marking other people. Just a simple cut and he's got the whole entire goal to work with. Maximiano's He's there, he makes the dive, but he just can't get there. Can't cover the far side. So 2-1, to one, we've got to make some uh, adjustments here. Jeremy Doku's going to come in for Johannes Agustin. We're going to try and put his speed to good work. He's been a great sub for us when we need a little boost offensively. 78th minute. McKinney fires, deflected again. The Paderborn defense has done a nice job. Gonna make another offense for defense substitution here. Uh, Okafor for uh, uh, Vindal, and then Gravenberch for for Beal, and uh, you know really just try and get all of our, our our fresh offensive players on the pitch at one time. Here we are in the 82nd minute, We're starting to run out of time. Okafor over to Foden, trying to set up Gravenberch up ahead to Kaseki. He's got a look. Can he find a man? Oh, he tries to center it. Can't do it. The Paderborn defense has really been quite solid, uh, despite what they've done this season. They're playing really above their uh, above their grade this year, so, you know, so far in this game. Mr. McKinney trying to make it happen here, up ahead, taking it himself, oh, loses possession again. We've had looks, but we can't even get shots off. This is unlike us on our on our attack. Our attacking prowess has not been the problem. Turnovers in midfield and stoppage time. This may be it. This may be it for us. 30 seconds left. Going to try and build one more attack. McKinney up ahead to Gravenberch. As the time, as the time expires, not going to let us finish the attack. This is a devastating loss. When you're fighting for a, a, a position, listen, we're not going to win the Bundesliga, but we're trying to get into a European, uh, you know, you know, spot in the in the table. You cannot lose these easy games. I mean, a draw even, Jesus, would be something. You cannot lose these games. You cannot come away with zero points against a, a team that is last in the table. And, and you see, 2-1, our only goal was a penalty kick. We really just didn't generate anything on offense. And it's just a, an embarrassing loss. They basically just outplayed us. I mean, we got them in possession 60-40, one of our our better looks on the season, but you know, shots on goal more than double tackles. I mean, just they just 
they just wanted it more. They just wanted it more. Came on the road and whooped our ass. So now, after all that, now we have to go to Bayern. Now we have to go into Munich, and, and we've got to take on the the beasts of the Bundesliga, and we got to take on Robert Lewandowski, who's leading the league in goals. He's got 15, 15 goals to lead the league here in uh, in only fourteen games played. We haven't exactly been a defensive stalwart here to uh, to to start the year here, about halfway through the Bundesliga season, and we're giving up a ton of goals. So. You know, I was looking forward to this game, but coming off a, a bad loss to Paderborn, maybe we overlooked them. I don't know. Maybe we looked past them. It was a trap game. I was looking forward to this, but this does not make me optimistic. I mean, Bayern here, as, as you look through their starting lineup, every single player in their starting lineup has a better rating than literally anybody in my starting lineup. The only guy I had who was 80 or above was Max Egestein, and he's hurt. So we are outmanned here, we're outmatched, this team is just better than us, and we're on the road in their place. We've got to play our best game. Now we're going with the 5-3-2 as you saw earlier, we're mixing it up a little bit. It's not that dissimilar to the 3-4-2-1 we're we've been playing, but it gives us a little bit more on defense. You see Kaseki up ahead, early on, four minutes in, to Trincao, trying to get an early shot off. Back to Gravenberg, fires deflected. It's a good defensive line. We're gonna, we're gonna struggle to create here. Hopefully we can we can keep them struggling to create. You see, top scoring team in the league. The complete opposite of Pattermore. This is gonna be a challenge. We're gonna have to just outscore them. You see Trincao up ahead, 10th minute, one on one. Oh. Well, that's why Newer is the best goalie in the world, or at least certainly in the discussion. Unable to beat him one on one, but a decent look. We're getting behind the defense. That's a good sign. It's a good sign early. Of course, here they come on the attack. Oh! Beats Maximiano, but off the post. Saved by the post. Unbelievable. You can see the press they've got on us here is just intense. We're going to have to just try and beat that, but if we do, we can exploit it. Here we go, McKinney. Up ahead to Gravenberch. 22nd minute. Lofts one over to Kaseki. Almost gets behind his man. Looking to center back to Gravenberch. Ooh, up ahead to Foden. A good look. And he beats him. He beats him. It's an early goal for Phil Foden. The captain. An early goal. Beating Neuer. Beating the defense. A great little lead pass. A cut back. Foden with his off foot. Going with the right foot and just drills it home. Look at that. Freezes Newer. He's got nowhere to go. An early 1-0 lead, and I gotta tell you, I didn't see that coming. Against Paderborn, the worst team in the damn league, we couldn't even create a good look, let alone finish on one. And there we get a brilliant look. A great pass by Gravenberch. Oh, another post! Another post for Bayern. Listen, I'm excited about the goal we scored, but this could be 2-1. They've hit two posts in 28 minutes. Up on the counterattack, Phil Foden making a run. Oh, and he's fouled. He's fouled in the box. Phil Foden fouled in the box. We're going to get a chance here. We're going to get a chance to go up 2-0 in the first third of the game. Are you freaking kidding me? Blatant foul. No question about it. He's lucky to still be in the game. Phil Foden's going to get a chance to finish this one on his own. He's going to try and go back to that right corner where he's had some luck. Curving in with the left foot. He's got a tough task here. This is a world-class keeper. Oh, and he guesses right. Oh, listen, a good stroke from Foden. I can't knock him for that. Sometimes the keeper just guesses right. And you know what? We've gone to that right corner about four straight times. So, you know, looks like uh, looks like Newer read the scouting reports, and it's a missed opportunity. But hey, still a one nothing lead. We've had some chances here. Uh oh, oh, Martinez right up front. A great save. A great save by Maximiano. 39th minute. Bayern on the attack. Oh, great move. Great move. Another great move. This is trouble. 
This is trouble. Trying to circle back. Look at Phil Foden making a run. Look at Phil Foden making a defensive play. Not his specialty, but the extra effort. Oh, and now a steal on Foden's part. Look at Phil, the captain, fighting on defense. He is not really truly a defensive player. Trincao up to Foden, making a run here. Trying to stay ahead of his man across to Egestein. And it's 2-0. It's 2-0. Johannes Egestein finding the back of the net late in the first half. Phil Foden beating his teammate as he beats his defender again, this time staying on his feet. Makes a great defensive play to steal the ball, gives it up, and then just makes a run. Gets the ball back and then just looks for a man. That is why he's wearing the armband right now. That is what is getting it done. Johannes Agustin with a great finish. A tremendous finish. And Phil Foden is the one that makes that play happen from start to finish. So it looks like we're going to wrap this first half up here. Up to nothing. And I got to tell you, I saw this coming even less than the Paderborn loss. I don't know what to expect from this team anymore. We go, we, we host a team we should smoke, and we, we get beat from start to finish, and then we gotta go into the toughest place in the Bundesliga to play. I mean, we're not outplaying them by that much. You see it, 51 to 49, the shots are pretty even. We're out tackling them. That's new for us. That's not something we do a lot of, but that's huge. So as we come back out for the second half here, you know, we're really going to just try and keep the, the status quo going. We've seen on so many occasions, you come back out after a lead, and the, uh, the, the computer was really just playing at an entirely different level. And uh, so I'm kind of anticipating that here, but we're really just going to try and, uh, you know, play the same way, play, stay on the attack. None of this run out the clock bullshit. We're, we're trying to score more goals. We're trying to run it up on them. Here we go, Vindal on the attack, centers over, Trincao, Tegestein. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Johannes Egestein with the brace makes it 3 nothing for the visitors. The Werder Bremen, the green and white section in the corner there going absolutely batshit crazy. Just finds a, the right position. We got a centering pass from, from Vindal to Trincao, who just kind of kind of shuffles it over to Agustin. Neuer doesn't know which way to go. And we've got a 3-0 lead. This is unbelievable. This is as good as we can play against as good a team as there is in this league. Sometimes things just go right. You see us on the attack again, Agustin up to Kaseki. We're not taking the pressure off. Screw it. Trying to cross again, unable to do so. We are not going to pull back on the brakes here. We've made that mistake too many times trying to get possessive, trying to run the clock out here against teams. No, we're going to try and run it up here. McKinney up ahead to Vindal. Gets behind the defense. The more pressure they have, the more holes they have. A nice stop finally. Here comes Marcus Rashford on for them. The Manchester United player who is who has been traded uh, to the to the Bundesliga Giants here, and they're going to take Lewandowski off. Thank you very much. That's a gift for us. Maybe they're just conceding it at this this point, and we're gonna we're gonna go defense here. We're not gonna change our playing style, but we will change our personnel. Be all for Agustin. Agustin has done his part. Two goals in 62 minutes. Thank you, sir. But we're gonna we're gonna put a little more defensive personnel here, and you know, dare I say, dare I say, we get a clean sheet. We don't have a clean sheet on the season. We're gonna make another sub here, 83rd minute. Vagnum in for for Vindal. This is simply a uh, a stamina situation here. Vindal's done done nicely for us. 84th, 85th minute. Well, fuck me for talking about clean sheets, right? Serves me right. Should have known FIFA wasn't going to let me have a clean sheet. I don't have one on the season. I do not have a clean sheet on the fucking season. Which, you know, whatever. But at some point, I know my defense isn't my strength, but 
At some point, I'm shutting somebody out, right? This is fucking football. Nope. Not in FIFA. Look at this. That's right by him. I mean, come on. Whatever. It's 3 1. <sighs> it is what it is. 85th minute. It's 3 1. Should win this game. Shouldn't be an issue. Just would have been nice, right? Like, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to be able to get one. But, you know, what do I know? Here they come on the attack again. Oh, a third post. That's a third post. That could have made it a one goal game. They've hit three posts. This could be 4 3. This could be 4 3. They have hit three posts in this game. Inches. Inches. So I guess I don't deserve a clean sheet, do I? Guess not. That's going to be the ball game, though. I deserve the win. To come into Bayern, to travel to this arena, and score three goals is. It's impressive. It's an impressive win. It almost makes up for the terrible, terrible Paderborn loss earlier in this episode. But you know what? We end on a good note here. This is a great win. A great win for us. And, and really, it makes up for, for some of the damage we've done and gets us back in this Bundesliga table. We really just dominated early and often here. Uh... You see here, we, we, we didn't really, I guess we didn't really dominate, you know, 51 to 49 in possession, see, they outshot us by almost double, but we just had a higher quality of them, and, and, and I'm, I'm okay with that. So after these two games, we're 7th in the standings, and it's been kind of a, an interesting season. The, the six teams at the top of the table, we are... 3-0-3 against. No draws, 3 wins, 3 losses, so 9 points. And you see we're only 3 spots out of a, a European competition spot, which makes that loss to Paderborn just really devastating. But then you go down to the bottom of the table, and you see what that win did for Paderborn, and got him out of the, the absolute basement into the, you know, spot number 16. Good for them, only their second win of the season. God, that was an awful loss. But we are... 2-3-1 and one against the bottom six. Also nine points, but in a very different way. So, you know, it's really been kind of a, a, an up-and-down interesting season for us. Inconsistent. We've beaten uh, Dortmund, we've beaten Bayern, we've beaten Leverkusen, but we've also had some bad losses, uh, you know, uh, for us uh, as well. So, we've got, uh, you know, uh, Mines coming up next, and then we've got Cologne. So, those are two very winnable games that's a chance for us to, to go out and get six points that we desperately need. And uh, and then we've got it nice and spaced out against uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf and Hoffenheim again. So we've got some real winnable games coming up uh, soon. As we wrap it up here, don't forget to follow us. Hit that subscribe button down below. Follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM, on Instagram at TotalFIFACareerMode, and on our website, TotalFIFACareerMode.com. This is episode 14 of Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga here on Total FIFA. Career mode.